Where exactly is the city of Northport located here in Southwest Florida? Hey friends, it's Noah, your favorite Northport real estate broker. And in this video, we are going to be breaking down the exact location of where Northport is in relation to the city of Florida, where the nearest beaches are, where the nearest shopping are, where the school systems are, where the grocery stores are, and all of this because Northport has just been rated the second fastest growing city in the entire United States. And people from all across the country are looking to move to the Northport area, which is the reason why we are creating this video. And if you guys have been watching our channel for a minute now, you guys know that we have a dedicated relocation guide for buyers looking to move in nine days or even 90 days here to the Northport area. You guys can go and check out that link. It's 100% free guide for you guys. It talks about the top 10 things to do in Northport. You know, the school systems in Northport, where are the best places to eat, you know, hotels and so much more. So definitely go and check that out. It's 100% free. And if you guys are not looking to compete with on-market new construction properties with all these other buyers here across the country, basically. What we are doing is we have partnered up with builders all across the city of Northport as we are focused, dedicated on Northport specifically. So we are gathering up all the off-market inventory and putting it all together for you guys so that you guys can check that out and get exclusive access to that. So you guys can go and use the link down below, Southwest Florida, new construction. You guys can go and check that out down below. It's 100% free to join our VIP email list. But with all that being said, let's jump in and now let's talk about Northport and the overall location of that. So we're first going to start off by talking about where Northport is exactly located. So if we zoom out here, we're going to get this in relation to the entire city. So when we give it, or in, in the entire United States, um, so if we look here, we have the US and then we are gonna scroll in to see Florida. So as we scroll in, you see that North Florida is down here. It's in Southwest Florida, just north of Port Charlotte, south of Tampa, north of Fort Myers. So as we scroll in here, you guys can see that the city of Northport is rather large. It has about 80,000 residents currently, and it is growing every single day, right? So if we look here, Northport here is here. If you guys to get your bearings, Sarasota, which is about 15, 20 miles from Northport over here. Then we have Venice right here. And then Fort Myers, so Cape Coral is right here. And then Fort Myers is right below there as well. So that's kind of the general uh, sense of where Northward is located. It's located about 11 miles away from the Gulf of Mexico as the crow flies. However, when you're taking streets and stuff like that, it's more about 25 minutes from the Gulf. So if we look here, that is where Northward is currently located. And I get this question all the time because people look this up as like, oh, well, Northport has beaches because if you Google Northport beaches or beaches near Northport, it's going to pop up with beaches saying that they're in Northport. However, if you guys know Northport, Northport isn't on the Gulf, so to speak. It doesn't have access to the beaches. So that is why you'd be driving to the beach. So driving to the beach right now, you're either going to be going to Minnesota Key Beach, which is right here. It's about 15, 25 minutes minutes away depending on where you're located here in Northport or you guys can go to Venice Beach which is right here you go to the gorgeous downtown historic area of Venice you guys can go walk the shops right over there and then go to Venice Beach Venice Beach is also very nice I'll throw up a video of what that looks like then you guys can go down to Casperson Beach or if you guys have a dog you have Brohard Dog Park which it's a nice beach perfect for your pets to go run around in the sand you don't have to have a leash on them so that's what's really nice otherwise you guys can go to Nokomis Beach which is about probably about 30 minutes away from uh, Northport as well. So there are many different options when it comes to beaches all under 35 minutes, I would say. So now let's talk about something else because this has become a big thing now, which is Welland Park, which is a master plan community. So if you guys don't know what Welland Park is, it's a master plan community very similar to Lakewood Ranch. It's going to have about 60,000 residents, 23,000 houses when it's fully built out. Now what's special about Welland Park is because it's going to be bringing in a lot of new business for the city of Northport. And why do I say that? So if we zoom in here, so you guys can see city of Northport, Welland Park is going to be located right here. So what's cool about this is when Welland Park comes in, it's obviously bringing in a lot of residents, but in turn, it's going to be bringing in a lot of commercial development. So Costco recently announced that they are going to be building a new Costco here just just in front of Welland Park. So that's going to be like a 10, 15 minute drive for residents in Northport, while the nearest Costco is right up here. That's probably 
45 minutes, 30, 35 minutes away from Northport. And then you obviously have another Costco up here in Bradenton as well. So that's what's cool. Commercial development's coming in. Now another cool thing is that Welland Park is building a downtown area for people and its residents, Northport residents, Venice residents. It's going to have premier shopping, dining, restaurants, recreational area. It's going to have a big lake, you know, big green area for gatherings, food truck gatherings, and everything like that. So it's going to be definitely a very cool, modern, hip, location um, and that's set to be done here in 2023 so that's definitely going to be cool it'll take about right now they're projecting about six years to fully build out welland park so that's going to take a little bit of time but once again welland park is a deed restricted community there are about 11 to 13 different developers in there with and with that all being HOA communities. These HOAs can range anywhere from $150 a month to over $500 a month. I'll also have a new video coming out about Welland Park and its updates. Then if we are talking about the new uh, Sarasota Memorial Hospital coming in, if you guys don't know what Sarasota Memorial Hospital is, Sarasota Memorial Hospital known as SMH, is the state-of-the-art hospital here in Southwest Florida. They have a couple different hospitals. They have one in Sarasota, one in Venice, and one up in Brinkton as well. What's not cool about this is this is what happened to Venice, right? So the Venice uh, Sarasota Memorial Hospital recently opened up in 2021. When that happened, that was when land prices went up, real estate prices went up, and everyone started to buy houses all around Sarasota Memorial Hospital. So it's very cool that Sarasota Memorial Hospital is coming in here. They're going to be building right off of Sumner starting 2024, 2025, somewhere around there. What's cool about that is when a big hospital like that moves in, it just shows that there is going to be a lot of projected growth into the Northport area and it's not just on a whim because Sarasota Memorial would not be spending millions and millions and millions of dollars to build a state-of-the-art facility if it's not going to have enough residents to you know supply or bring in business for it right so that's a huge contributing factor of why I believe that Northport is going to be a very fast growing area for a couple more years or even years to come as well so now let's talk about something else so when you live in Northport you're probably gonna be like okay well where are the nearest so we would be looking at Publix grocery stores since they are basically our local grocery store. Obviously, you have Walmart, you have other ones as well. But this is going to be the this is going to have the most amount of options. So we have Publix here. So Publix off of Toledo Blade is one option. It's a newer one, and that's going to basically basically provide grocery stores for this area of Northport. And then we go over here to this area right off of Price Boulevard. That's going to be for residents all over here, basically. And then we have this Publix in the main commercial hub of Northport. If you guys don't know, this is the commercial hub for Northport, and we'll talk about that in a bit here. But this would be great for all the residents here as well. And then if you live by Warm Mineral Springs area, your probably best bet for a co or Publix is either going to be the one in the commercial area or drive down to the West Villages, which is also going to be part of Welland Park as well. So now that brings me into the idea of shopping. So I get asked, Noah, well, where is the nearest shopping here in Northport? Well, we're going to explore a few different options here. So we have this little shopping district here in Northport. It's going to have a Dick's Sporting Goods, Hobby Lobby, Ulta Beauty, TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree. It's going to have uh, Publix, obviously, right there. And then Goodwill. And then it's going to have uh, Bells. It's going to have Five Below. It's going to have Ross. It's going to have a bunch of different other stores. Um, Home Depot, Walmart, obviously, are the anchor stores there. Lowe's is over here. You have the brand new Hampton Inn Suites, which is gorgeous as well. If you're looking to stay in Northport, highly recommend that hotel. Then you have restaurants all around there. So that's going to be probably your closest shopping hub. Unless you live over in this part of Northport, then you're going to be looking over here in the Port Charlotte um, Town Center area. This is going to be a quote unquote more of a mall feel, so to speak. It has Jay-Z Penny, um, Bell's Dillard's. Uh, it's going to have a bunch of other big box retailers, for example. So as you can see, it's a it's a circle surrounded by other things like restaurants, other shopping, Aldi, and a bunch of other things as well. So people are going there. Otherwise, another option. Now, obviously, we don't go shopping every single day, right? So another good option to go to is going to be University Town Center Mall, which is our state-of-the-art mall here in Sarasota County. So it's located right here, right off of Uni University Parkway, probably about 35, 40 minutes away from Northport, just depending on the specific time of day you're going. And then if we look here, this is a two-story luxurious mall. It's going to have all your big box retailers. And then over here, you're going to have part of University Town Center, Target, Alta, Old Navy, 
um, Home Sense, Michaels, Best Buy, Golf Galaxy, DSW. And then over in here, you're going to have other things as well, like your bigger box retailers, Fifth Saks Avenue. Um, you're going to have Macy's, Dillard's, and all that kind of stuff too. So there's a bunch of different options when it comes to shopping. Now, obviously, you're not shopping every single day, but being this close to University Town Center, I think is still a great option without being congested and being within HOAs of Sarasota, right? So that's going to cover our shopping areas as well. So now let's talk about schools. Now, I just just want to use this as throw this out as a disclaimer this is not none of my personal opinions this is based on actual like professional ratings like niche.com but if we go to schools we'll just type in schools here so you guys can see all the different school options here so what's cool about Northport is that there's a lot of different school options when it comes to it so you have imagine schools which is an elementary school here in um in Northport it's a five-star elementary school here on google and what's cool about this it's a public charter school it has nationwide schools so it's very cool then the major high school i would say is going to be the northport high school right here so and then you're going to have other elementary schools obviously atwater elementary school toledo blade elementary school you're going to have a bunch of other schools running around in this general area then for middle schools you're going to have woodland middle school over here by the way this is where all the hoa communities are here in northport and like you've seen me say on a lot of different videos northport's not made up of hardly any hoas there are a few here and there like around these golf courses and then this is going to be the other main hub but back to the main topic here is that woodland middle school is going to be probably your primary middle school here in the northport area as well but as you can see the schools are scattered out throughout northport it's not all you know you know, brought in and congregate into one specific area. So a lot of the schools are going to be over here in the eastern part of Northport as well. Now let's talk about if you want more acreage, right? So I get this question, no, I want to live on three to five acres of land. Great. Well, where do where exactly do you get it? Well, you have a couple different options. So you're obviously going to have an option of buying a chunk of land like this square piece right here. It's going to be about probably two to three acres, somewhere around there. However, those are very hard to pick up because usually many people own them. It's usually lotted off into quarter acre size lots, which are about 10,000 square feet, 80 by 125 feet. Otherwise, the other option you have is going into North Border States. North Border States is great. The average price point right now is about 89 to about $130,000 per acre. So if you're looking at four acres, let's just say you're looking at four hundred and you know $450,000 or $420,000, somewhere around there, right? And what's cool about this is it's all acreage. So all your neighbors also have the similar acres between three to five acres. They have to be a minimum of three acres in size. Then south of that, then obviously you're going to have your smaller quarter acre size lots. But if you want more estate land, it's going to be up here as well. And there is estate land for sale currently. So now let's talk about proximity to the other cities quick while we're on this topic. So where exactly, like what are the closest cities, everything like that. So why Northport? Why do I say Northport is centrally located to other cities in my other videos? Well, if we go down here, we'll get rid of this. So if we go down here, we have Cape Coral right here. You have Fort Myers here, which is literally less than an hour away from Northport. Or you have Tampa, St. Pete area, which is about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away. Then you have Sarasota. Depending on where you're going in Sarasota, it takes you about 30 to 45 minutes away to get to Sarasota. So you're not in the hustle bustle of Sarasota traffic, Tampa traffic, Fort Myers traffic, Cape Coral traffic, nothing like that. You're still located within Sarasota County and you're also located more in a rural area that still has a lot of commercial growth coming in and a lot of residential development coming in. A lot of new construction being built up in the Northport area, which is why I love that area. It's one of the most untouched areas here in Sarasota County city-wise as well. So it's closely located to a bunch of different cities all within probably an hour and 20 minutes let's just say from all these other cities then now let's talk about airports so where exactly are the nearest airports if you're going to be flying in out and what's the closest one basically so let's talk about international airports so first up we have sarasota brinkton international airport it's about 45 minutes away from northport now sarasota uh brinkton airport is obviously not as big as tampa or fort myers however it will have flights pretty much all around the country as well so if you're using delta united all these bigger carriers american airlines they will be supplied here in the Sarasota Brinkton area. Then we have the Tampa Airport as well. Tampa Airport's probably about an hour and 15 minutes away from Northport, give or take, depending on the traffic. However, this is going to be a bigger airport for me. It 
really, if I pre-check, so I walk, I go in there and I can get through these gates in about probably 15 minutes actually using pre-check. Not very, doesn't take me very long. I think my record time was about 10 minutes by the time I got dropped off, walked through the whole entire airport, got through my terminal, went through TSA, everything like that, got to my gate in about 10 minutes, which is very nice, right? So once again, that is with pre-check. That's not your typical normal lines as well. Then we have another airport, which is the Fort Myers Airport, which is down here. So you're going to have your Fort Myers Airport. So this airport, once again, is under an hour away from Northport. So depending on where you're flying, you guys can check different the different airports, whether that be Sarasota. Sarasota will be a little bit more expensive because it's more of a smaller international airport. Then you have Tampa, Fort Myers. So you can basically price check the big you know, airline carriers, Delta United, American Airlines, all these other ones as well, and see which uh, airport's cheaper to fly out of. Then if you're flying more, re not regionally, I should say, but if you're flying more smaller airlines, like Allegiant Airlines, for example, you can actually fly out of the Punta Gorda Airport as well, which is probably about a 25-minute drive. So there are many different options. Once again, Delta does not go to the Punta Gorda, Punta Gorda Airport. However, it is options if you want to fly Allegiant or anything like that too. So that will cover the overall airport ports here in the Northport area. But at the end of the day, Northport, like I've said in all my videos, Northport is very centrally located. Beaches are under 45 minutes away. Airports are all probably, you can get them under within an hour away. Sarasota is 45 minutes. Tampa, an hour and 15 Fort Myers less than an hour. You have a lot of different options while not worrying about being stuck in traffic. You know, you don't have to worry about HOAs. You have a little bit more land freedom. You can build a new construction house for cheaper than you could in Sarasota. Because I'll tell you this right now is that you could, if you took one house in Northport and you put it in Sarasota, you could get, you could sell that house for about $200,000 more than you could in Northport or builders could, I should say. So it gives you a lot more affordability and opportunity as the average price point here in Northport is only $399,000. I can get you a new construction house for only $330,000 here in Northport. So if you guys want more information on that, definitely go and check out our link down below. But once again, guys, if you guys are looking to move in nine days or 90 days, ultimately that is our team specialty is helping out-of-state buyers just like yourselves make the move as smooth as possible and the best way for us to do that is I moved from the Midwest myself. I had a lot of questions that weren't getting answered. So well, I didn't want you guys to have that same thing. So I created a dedicated buyer, buyer's relocation guide for the city of Northport. It talks about the top 10 best things to do in Northport, restaurants, hotels, you know, school districts, everything like that, that you really need to know from a perspective of a Northport resident. You guys can go and check that link out down in the description down below. And if you guys are looking to not compete with on-market new construction properties, as my whole focus is dedicated on the Northport area, I have a lot of strong connections in Northport. So I'm partnering with builders to grab up their off-market inventory before it hits the market and then give my buyers exclusive, you know, exclusive views to these new construction properties before they even hit the market. So if you guys are in the market for new construction, you guys want to be put on that exclusive 100% free email list, go and check that out down in the description down below uh, as well. But once again, guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. If you guys have any questions about Northport, this video, anything like that, put them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, we will see you guys all next week.